My name is Dr. Craig O'Connell, and I'm a Cressy ambassador, host for the Discovery Channel, shark biologist, and shark conservationist. Ever since I was a little kid, one of my major goals was to find an alternative to shark nets. These nets are used in areas such as South Africa and Australia, and they devastate local wildlife and kill thousands of sharks each year, while also providing no additional beachgoer protection. Teaming up with Shark Project Switzerland, Neil Watson's Scuba Center, the Discovery Channel, and Cressy, I traveled to the Bahamas to implement the first ever shoreline deployment of a shark conservation technology known as the Shark Safe Barrier, a technology that I invented over a decade ago. On this expedition, I tested this system on the bull shark. The bull shark is a large shark species that can attain lengths of over 10 feet. Since they tend to inhabit inshore habitats, their range often overlaps with regions we use for recreation. Unfortunately, this has led to quite a few negative encounters and therefore, these shark calls often target this beautiful and charismatic species. Deploying this system in the murky Allistown Channel was a challenge with nearly a dozen bull sharks swimming around. But once all was said and done, I deployed a 150 foot barrier to close off an entire section of the marina to run the ultimate test. To determine if these bull sharks would cross this large scale barrier with approximately five pounds of fresh bait on the other side. After roughly 59 hours of experimentation, 10 of 16 sharks crossed the barrier. However, it still did show some signs of exclusion. Even though it wasn't 100% successful, there is hope. With collaboration comes great advances and those advances have now come to life to create a new barrier known as the exclusion barrier that has thus proven to be a viable alternative to shark culling. So the feature is now and it's important that we save whatever wildlife we have left. What I've learned from this project is persistence, hard work, dedication, and proper collaboration can yield amazing results. What the future has in store is unknown, but I know what I want the future to be. So I'll keep working towards my goal and hopefully soon, shark culling will be a thing of the past.